Let's go on to another case. A 28-year-old woman is evaluated for amenorrhea. She stopped taking her oral contraceptive pill eight months ago in order to get pregnant. Her menstrual cycle has not resumed. She did have normal Mendes prior to the beginning of oral contraceptives four years ago. She also complains of daily nipple discharge over the last six weeks. Other than the oral contraceptive pill, she takes no other medications. Her exam, her vital signs are normal, and she has, but she has a white discharge from bilateral nipples. Her thyroid skin and visual field exam are normal. Labs are significant for a prolactin level of 86 nanograms per ml, a normal thyroid stimulating hormone, and a negative pregnancy test. The MRI of her pituitary shows a nine millimeter pituitary mass. What is the diagnosis? This young woman has secondary amenorrhea, the production of abnormal breast milk or galactorrhea, and elevated prolactin levels and a pituitary mass. She most likely has a prolactinoma in her anterior pituitary causing secondary amenorrhea, which is the cessation of Menzies, despite the presence of normal cycles after puberty. Pituitary microadenomas that secrete excessive prolactin cause secondary amenorrhea due to the inhibition of gonadotrophin releasing hormone in the hypothalamus. We would treat these patients with dopamine agonists. Bromocryptine is a good first line agent because of its low cost. Cabergoline is better tolerated, however, because tumor shrinkage is better, but unfortunately it is more expensive. Always check response to therapy by repeating a prolactin level in one month after commencing treatment.